I'm back. And we're on the trail of the, uh, yeah, the guitar that we're building. Mm, I can't even pick it up. <laughs> yeah, we're still on the trail of this. It's all dry now, so it looks pretty good. But more about this later. Well, not in this video, but later. It's all good. However, this video is all about this little brown box. Yeah. Oh, it looks good, but I wonder what it is. Well, I won't keep you waiting too long. It's uh, basically it's a tremolo unit, but it's it's a tremolo unit that uh, that I just decided to get that was a little bit slightly different than many of the others, and you don't see many of them, and that's one of the important things. Yeah, not something that's lying on a shelf. Well, it was just about lying on a shelf. I got this one from Toman, but because they don't want to trade, want to trade with the UK and Europe anymore. Well, maybe I'll buy one somewhere else. Who knows? But I think what we'll do first of all is just whip this out of its box now, because it's a very important part of the overall guitar. Believe it or not, it is. What do I get? Oh my god, is there any more? No, that's about it. This model, by the way, is called an ABM 5200G and it says Tremolo Knife Edge Gold Made in Germany. So, this is one of those European things. Hmm. Oh, what do I get? Well, what I get is. Two little packets. Well, let's move that one out of the way because we'll have a look at that in a minute. Get it off camera so you don't get distracted. <laughs> and in this one, you get all the uh, the rest of the bits, I guess, for a kit. You get five of the usual springs. You get a claw, which is cheap as the rest. You get two screws for the claw. Yeah. You get uh, oh, two of these mounts. And I have checked, and anybody who's actually got a, a Fender Strat, a real one, with the inserts, and that body over there has already got the inserts in it, these uh, screw-ins for the inserts actually fit the Fender thread, so there's nothing to change there if you don't want to. And in my case, there's nothing to change. It's a bit of a nice bright gold for what it is. Matches me teeth. Now, as well as them two, you get one of these. Funny enough, you only get a black one. How weird. Yeah, there's no more. Maybe they've got something against white ones. I don't know. Anyway, thankfully, I have a cream one. I also get one of these that's for little adjustments. Hmm. And here's the... Uh, the actual tremolo. Well, let's get it out of it. Oh! I lied. The white one's on the end. Pity I want cream, but not to worry. <laughs> yeah. Now we've all seen a tremolo arm before, haven't we? <laughs> haven't we? There it is. The only difference with this one is there's no thread on it, uh, so it's like a, it's a push-in type. All pretty simple, really. So let's get that out of the way and get back to this uh, real tremolo. Well, right from the off, you can see it looks a little bit different than your average tremolo. Well, does it or doesn't it? <laughs> Actually, it does. You can see it's got a two-point knife edge but what you might not have noticed well I know you wouldn't have noticed is that there's two little allen keys there and you can actually change out the fulcrum yeah so if you get any wear on this thing just undo them two buy another fulcrum steel it's probably is steel and uh, away you go, just as brand new. How about that? I bet you've never seen that on a 
Tremolo before, which is one of the first reasons to buy it. It has longevity in it, which sounds like a plan to me. Now, one of the important things, of course, is it's it's actually compatible with the American standard one fitted to your Strat. So what's great about that? Uh, well, it just fits. <laughs> How easy is that? Now, you also notice that it's a little bit unusual in the respect. Well, you know what a fender uh, tremolo does. You, you take these things and they all push sideways a long way. These push a little bit. Not really much, because they're protected by these edges. These edges stop everything going completely haywire. Bit like a PRS bridge, in fact. In fact, it's extremely like a PRS bridge in that respect. Yeah, which is uh, interesting. Now, the thing is about all of this, it's actually made of uh, bell brass. Yeah, even around the back here. You can see it's got a bit of a cut out there, but it is generally, for the most part, thick all the way down. So it's actually a, a heavier one than you might think. In fact, it, it's, it is quite heavy, but it is bell brass, gilded in this case, of course, uh, chromed if you buy the chrome one. What can you say? The block's entirely also bell brass like I said. Now the string pitch is uh, uh, it's 10.6 mil or 0.42 of an inch and the string distance is uh, 53 mil which is 2.09 inches which I thought you might like to know. The overall dimensions by the way are the block dimensions are height times the width is 41.15 mil high and it's 73.95 millimeters wide and that's 1.62 inches high by 2.91 inches wide have you got that <laughs> and that is basically most you want to know about this tremolo it's a really really weighty and quality made tremolo as i said it's uh, it's made by abm and it's a 5200 g yeah, a modern two-point tremolo. Well, another reason I bought it. <laughs> I'm silly like that. This one actually, uh, ABN. Well, those are my initials. <laughs> How weird's that? Yeah. And another last point on this uh, this tremolo one. Uh, yeah, it's made of stainless steel that's been gilded, by the way. Just in case I didn't mention that, which I don't think I did. It's interesting stuff, isn't it? There's an adjuster, by the way, round the back, so you can adjust the tension of the tremolo arm. And everything else is fully adjustable, as you might expect. This unit's been available, by the way, since probably sometime around April 2018, give or take. Yeah. Or at least that's the time that, uh, that Toman took it on board, for want of a better phrase. Now even just sitting in place, you can see that the gold colour uh, works well with the, the sort of creamy part around here and the sort of fade into green. So I think it was a, uh, almost essential on this particular guitar to have this gilded. I like it that way, it looks good, it matches the guitar. I'm sure it will be by the time the, uh, the guitar's actually been finished and it's got a, a glass or a, a semi-matte finish on the top, depending on what I decide. But that's it uh, in the guitar, that's how it works. Okay, well, there you have the ABM tremolo unit. And by the way, this one cost, uh, what did it cost? Uh, it cost £163. Yeah, uh, plus the, I think there was shipping on it, ah, probably, uh, fibre I think, but it's not a cheap 
tremolo unit, it's certainly more expensive than the Fender one, so let's hope that it does offer more than the Fender one. I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> on you? Yeah. Now, how would I rate this uh, compared to, well, so far, compared to the Halon one? Well, there's not that much comparison, really. The Halon uh, tremolo is superior to this one. I don't think there's any doubt of that. And I do know that Halon actually make uh, units of bow brass. So you could buy a Halon one, which is probably better. Yeah. Engineered better, you know. Uh, yeah, but I decided on this one. I think Halon's uh, around at the moment, but I haven't uh, seen any emails back from him in a while. So I think he's probably going through all the same things everyone else is at this time. Well, there it is. That's the that's the ABM 5200G uh, tremolo unit, and you're going to see more about it later. This, of course, is part of the the build series of the guitar, and you'll be seeing more of the ABM later when we fit it. Reasonably short video, but a re reasonably good uh, piece of gear. So, uh, yeah, go up down in the text, and you'll see the other. The other videos in the series, there's three or four or five of them, or there will be by the time you get to somewhere around here. And uh, yeah, that'll continue until the guitar is complete. So don't forget to visit uh, www.turningmackenzie.com if you get a chance to gain on a bit like me. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, it's down there in the text if you want the link. But you, you can type, can't you? Yeah. Uh, so until next time, uh, get out of here.